Bitcoin is breaking towards the downside right now and this is definitely not looking very good. But guys, do not get trapped because a big breakout is going to be inevitable. Alongside a few very important indicators we need to be having a look in towards today. So guys, can we once again push up the likes? Pick up 100 likes, that will be absolutely amazing. And as always, let's have a look in towards a short term. And yes, in a short term, we have been falling towards the downside actually during the course of a weekend and because of this we have been creating yet another cme gap over here and usually these cme gaps tend to get filled very very quickly 90 percent of the time so i do think that a little bit of a bounce is going to be inevitable to at least to be filling up this cme gap over here which is right now sitting at about that 59.1k level 59.2k level so that's still going to be about a 1000 US dollar move towards the upside so that is going to be pretty important to still be having a look in towards of course during the course of this weekend we have been seeing some downwards price action we saw a little bit of a bounce to so be coming back towards our semi close price but we failed to do so and we just dumped even more towards the downside right now having this massive CME gap open Anyways, already because of this, I do think that we can be seeing a little bit of a bounce back towards the upside, and I do think that this could be a little bit of a trap, but more on that a little bit later. First of all, yes, Bitcoin at the same time is also creating this falling wedge pattern with this level of support right now giving us support, and we are seeing a little bit of a bounce. Now, anytime soon, I think we are going to be once again retesting this level of resistance, and then we need to be having a look if we are either going to be seeing this clean breakout towards the upside, or if you are going to be getting yet another rejection and in case of yet another rejection we should get a little bit more worried because at that time yes we are just going to be getting a perfect breakout retest of this break towards the downside all right if we are going to be getting a rejection anywhere from of this level over here well that could definitely look very bad and in that case we are definitely going to be headed even lower in my opinion so yeah what is going to be happening next with this breakout over here is going to be very important within the coming days Anyways, yes, I do think that it is actually going to be more likely that we are going to be seeing this bullish breakout over here. Now, I will be talking exactly about all of the signals which I'm seeing right now in the market, which is why I believe that we are going to be seeing a bullish breakout. But do keep in mind that, of course, we can also be seeing this break towards the downside. We can be seeing a, a break in either direction. That is always how it goes with trading. Now, I do think that a break towards the upside is going to be more likely. And that is just because we are currently still trading at a major level of support at this current moment. Yes, we have not fallen down below it. If we are going to be falling down below, well, definitely, I think that these lower targets are going to be getting reached. But like I've said many, many times, ultimately, I think this is going to be the best opportunity in the market. So if we were to be seeing this continuation towards the downside, well, I would definitely definitely not be against it. I would honestly even be grateful for that opportunity if you are going to be seeing this dip. But yes, a bounce is going to be more likely in my opinion. That is just because the short term is actually looking quite good with this falling wedge pattern being created, with this CME gap sitting above us, with these bullish divergences right now also being created. So strength is right now coming in. The, the, the bearish momentum is getting exhausted. So while the Bitcoin price is just hitting new lower highs each and every single time, while the RSI indicator has been printing a new higher low and because of this we have been getting this bullish divergence over here and a little bit of strength coming in is going to be quite inevitable. And also at the same time it is going to be very important to have a look into towards what the stock market will be doing today because like you can be seeing over here in this chart we are seeing a huge divergence with the stock market bitcoin has just been moving towards the downside well the stock market has just been moving up and up and up it has even been almost reaching new autumn highs above these highs over here while bitcoin is not even close towards reaching these highs over here it is still down bad so we are seeing a huge divergence a huge 
use huge inverse correlation and I do still think that there is going to be a little bit of a catch up trade to be made anytime soon with a big Bitcoin bounce towards the upside to be catching up with the stock market as well. But it is of course going to be very important to have a look into what the stock market is going to be today, uh, doing today. Because if the stock market is going to be seeing a crash today, well in that case definitely Bitcoin is going to be crashing even higher, harder. But if the stock market is just going to be continuing to consolidate or even hit a new ultima high over here, well then definitely I think that there is going to be a big catch up trade for Bitcoin to be made. So yes, this is going to be very important to be having a look in towards. Anyways, if we're going to be having a look in towards our Bitcoin ETF flows, we can be seeing that yes, we are seeing outflows from these ETFs. Oh, these are going to be some very small and minor outflows, but to be honest, it makes sense, right? Because Bitcoin last week has been moving towards the downside. Well, yeah, the stock market has been moving towards the upside. Maybe, probably, this is just because of the outflows we could be seeing over here. Honestly, I do not know, but I'm not going to be paying all too much attention in towards this. What is just going to be more important is that the majority of the Bitcoin traders are right now trading short. The Bitcoin funding rates are right now negative across the board over on Binance, over on OKX, over on Bybit, over on BitGet. So right now, the majority of the Bitcoin traders are trading short, which is causing the majority of the liquidity to build up on the top side. And what does the market need to be moving towards the upside? It needs liquidity on the top side. Right now that liquidity is being built up and a short squeeze is going to be inevitable anytime soon. Okay, like you can be seeing over here, at about the 70k level, majority of the liquidity is sitting at that level. So yeah, let's see. This is definitely looking extremely bullish for the Bitcoin price. On top of that, the Bitcoin sentiment is actually right now very bad. Uh, the Bitcoin sentiment is uh, still trading at levels of fear. So for me, this is still definitely going to be an indication that I want to be buying at these levels. Whenever the majority of the Bitcoin traders are fearful, I am buying and I am actually going to be greedy. Of course, always do the opposite of the majority of the Bitcoin traders. They are right now short, so I'm going to be buying over here at these levels. Anyways, let's see what is going to be happening with this short term Bitcoin pattern being created right over here. I do think that eventually whenever we are going to be breaking outside of this one over here, we are going to be seeing a big Bitcoin bounce again. Definitely do be aware of that. But also definitely do be aware of a potential breakdown confirmation over here. Anyways, guys, if you are going to be getting interested in trading yourself as well, make sure to check out that first link down below or that second link down below, because right now this campaign is actually it is saying that it has been ended, but I'm going to be trying to get it back online. So definitely make sure to be checking it out because that 500 US dollar free trade is going to be quite insane. But also if this campaign really is going to be ended, make sure to check out this other link down below because you can right now be claiming a 40,000 US dollar deposit bonus. And that is also going to be quite insane. With this money, you can literally be opening up free trades right now in the market. So make sure to be checking out that one down below. Anyways, having a look into what some more charts. Yes, the US dollar tether market cap has still been steadily increasing while the Bitcoin price has been moving towards the downside. We are once again seeing a huge divergence right over here and anytime soon, once again, just like with the stock market, I think a little bit of a catch up trade is about to be made. For example, we can be seeing the same exact thing happening right over here. Bitcoin moved towards the downside, the US dollar tether uh, market cap moved towards the upside and boom, we saw a huge catch up trade to be made. Right here, once again, same thing was happening. Bitcoin moved towards the downside, US dollar tether market cap moved towards the upside and boom, we saw a huge catch up trade to be made. Right now, we are seeing the same exact thing, but just on a lo even larger scale. So this is definitely looking very bullish. Bitcoin is still just consolidating inside of this range. After the Bitcoin halving, of course, this is very, very normal, but anytime soon, I do think that we are going to be expecting a big breakout outside of this range. But the longer we are going to be consolidating inside of this range, eventually the more bullish this breakout will be and the more explosive the breakout will eventually be. So I'm cool with it uh, for now. I'm just going to be accumulating as many altcoins, as much Bitcoin as possible inside of this range. But eventually do be prepared for that next Bitcoin move because eventually it is going to come anyways for September. Well, September can be still a little bit more of a bad month. Of course, historically speaking, September has been a little bit of a bad month, but maybe because of this, because historically it has been a bad month, maybe we are going to be seeing this changing just for this month over here. But honestly, just stay with the trend. The trend is telling us September is going to be a bad month. So 
honestly staying with the trend i also do think that this month once again for september is going to be a bad month but anyways yes bitcoin is trading below that 58k level right now but still retail interest is sitting at an autumn low fear and greed is sitting at levels not seen since the 20k bear market low funding rates are extremely negative again global liquidity is increasing and rate cuts are going to be imminent so I'm definitely going to be bullish if you are going to be zooming out well the greater trend is just going to be towards the upside I don't know how people can be bearish at these levels over here in that longer time frame anyways guys with that being said I'm accumulating right now if you do want to be uh, up to date about every single market development make sure to be following me over on Twitter and guys I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning